Hey there, I'm Jason, and today we're going to talk about lip slurs. One of the things that makes trombone great is this slide. It can do things that a lot of instruments can't do. For example, we can do a glissando like that, which is almost impossible on all of the other band instruments. That makes us kind of special. But it also means that when it comes to slurs, we have to do things a little bit differently. On an instrument with valves or keys, a slur is just played by moving from one note to the next without using your tongue. But on trombone, we get that sliding sound like this. And that's not a sound that we want to have in most pieces, unless it's written in there to do it. Instead, on trombone what we do is we use a gentle tongue. Instead of going ta, 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 we're going to go da, da, or la, la, whichever one works better for you. And that gives the illusion of a slurring sound without actually slurring. Let me show you. That's a slurring sound. A normal separation using a ta tongue would be like this. There's a separation there, but when I slurred, there wasn't. That's the goal we're working toward. Now on trombone, we do have another way to slur, and that's called a lip slur. And a lip slur is useful for going between notes that are further apart. Let me give you an example. A lip slur between high B flat and F, which are both in first position, would sound like this. used my tongue to start the second or third note. I simply used my lips and air to change between them. I slowed the air down a little bit and relaxed a little bit when I went from B flat down to F, and I sped up the air a little bit and firmed up my lips a little bit to go up to B flat. That's a good thing to practice in all registers. And much like the long tones exercises that you may have already done, we do those in all seven positions, like this. When we can do them reliably in all seven positions, you should start to branch out. Instead of going B-flat to F back to B-flat, start on F and go down to low B-flat instead. seven positions. Once you've got strength in the lower register, it's also important to do it in the higher register, like this. All the way through all of the different registers that you have. There's one more trick when it comes to slurring on trombone, and it's a little complex. But if the note goes up, but the slide goes down, you don't have to use your tongue as long as you move the slide quickly. For example, F is in first position, G is a note higher, but in fourth position, which means the slide went down, but the note went up. So you can just move the slide quickly, increase the air like a lip slur. Let me show you. I didn't use my tongue to go between those notes. You could also just use a soft tongue if you think that that's the easier option for you at this point, but lip slurs are an integral part of playing any brass instrument and should be practiced regularly.